Hello everyone, my name is Gramoth, and welcome back to our Let's Play Through Armored Core Verdict Day. I'm going to the shop real quick to go upgrade my weapons. I They're not doing that too much damage, as much damage as I would like. So I'm going to show you how the shop works a little bit, and you know what tuning your weapon will do. This is the shop. You've got all your categories. You've got your left arm, your right arm, your ultimate weapons when you unlock them, your shoulder units, your head, core, vice, versa, all, everything right here. The thing is, if you need hanger units, you know, you, you have, like, the rifle. If I need to upgrade the rifle, there is no hanger unit section. You kind of just have to go into the right or left arm, you know, remember which part you have, and go in there, find it, and since we're using the RF-130, we'll upgrade this first on the hanger. This is the tuning screen. What you can do, this is fine-tune your weapon to be how you want it. You want it all power, all power. You lose some reload time, but that's that'll make your gun way more powerful and increase its optimal range. Rapid fire, you know, obviously reload time goes up, but everything else goes. Your accuracy will go down tremendously, or all accuracy, and that makes your power go down. And but the way I usually use it is, you put two in power, one in rapid fire. You lose nothing and you gain more power. Or if you want, you can do two in rapid fire and one in accuracy. You get more reload time and or less reload time rather, but the same amount of accuracy you had before. And for actually, you know, two accuracy, one power, more accurate weapon. Depends on how you want to use the weapon. Personally, I'm going with more power, so I'm going to go like that. So I don't lose my reload time, but I also gain my power. I'm going to actually sit here and do this for all the weapons. Makes them all a little bit more powerful. Makes them more useful that way. And the nice thing about the shop is after you, up, after you use the tuning the first time all the weapons that you go to use afterwards if you want them all to be the same the tuning just stay right there you don't have to sit there and keep resetting the tuning or anything not that that would be much of a big deal but it's nice that they put that in there so you don't have to sit there and try and retune it over and over again uh the other thing with the hanger is i would i kind of got a little lost here trying to find what blade i was using as it doesn't show you what the hanger weapon is so i had i almost forgot that i was using this one for a second to be completely honest and then there's that last part uh, I can also buy I think some heads I don't have any new ones unlocked so we're good if there's any unlocked next to the uh, that little one that's right there if there is if I didn't have the part there'd be nothing there there'd be no number or anything so you could sit there it actually kind of makes looking, finding new parts easy at the same time you know it would be nice if there would be like a new symbol or a new lettering across it that would have told you there's a new item in the category that wasn't there last time you were in the shop or anything like that. There's not. I believe what we unlocked from ranking up was a uh, weapon somewhere in there, but there's no point looking for it right now. And then we're going to go into the assembly and we're going to upgrade the weapons. As you can see, if you get a new part, it's going to say new right there next to the part. Like right there. Same with this. And if you want to go see where your new part is, or if you don't remember what the part was, you hit B, and there's a new part right there. It just says new across the weapon. And there we go, a new, new upgrade weapons that'll do more power, and will eventually make our weapons a lot more effective. Actually, now I just thought about that. I'll show you what I mean by the uh, two power, one speed. For, this is the our original weapon right here. This, this is our... The weapon we started out with, no upgrades, nothing. Now, if I go down to the, the one we just tuned, you can see there's a huge difference in the impact force, the K attack power, and the optimal range. Nothing else goes down. Nothing goes down at all. Nothing goes down on the right side where it shows your actual AC in in total. It's nothing changes. It, again, it just the two power, one speed, two speed, one accuracy, and so on, makes the gun not lose a single thing but gain all the bonuses for upgrading. So, you know, my suggestion is two in one thing, one in the other, one in the opposite thing, one the thing that goes down. It keeps your weapon basically nice and nice and rounded while upgrading whatever it is you wanted without sacrificing anything major. Like you don't want to sacrifice too much power on certain weapons, like a sniper can. If you want to upgrade that to just be have full speed, you can do that. You'll lose some accuracy, but then you'll be able to fire the sniper cannon faster. If you want to upgrade like your Gatling guns so that have full accuracy so you can actually get more shots into it you'll just lose some power so now we're going to go into mission 1-3 
try and get some uh, mission one three and one four done. This one's pretty easy, if I remember this correctly. I believe it's just a simple destroy mission again, like the last couple System. ones were. Yeah, just because there's a bunch of sniper snipers up there. Just another routine job. Basically, go into scan mode, fly forward, and find out where all the enemies are. We got flying units everywhere. There's also sniper cannons, so try and dodge the sniper cannons. And we also increased our optimal range, so our weapons are going to lock on a little bit farther than they were before, which is nice. We can stay a little bit farther away from the enemy, keep our distance a bit. All these Hellkites, and as you can see, we're just mowing down the Hellkites like there's nothing wrong with this. It's way easier now to just keep these things at a distance and not get let them get too close to the point where you can't lock onto them or they fly overhead. I've gotten out of the sniper range so they can't see us. I'm also at the limit of the area, so I'll get back in here. And now this is the fun part about using the two legs is that I can actually climb up these. If you were using a tank, you'd have to have a long range weapon on you in order to get these, these guys, or this one's just gonna come down on me out of nowhere. And like, weapons aren't doing that much. I believe they have a high kinetic, no, they, have a, they have a high chemical, so that's where we switch to our laser blade. And we keep our Gatling gun, their, whoop, their kinetic wasn't too high. This is where we can use this thing real quick. And that's a good part about the the uh, recon unit is you can just set it out right there, and as it detected the MT, the I think this are called the Wettas. It kind of you can just go into scan mode and watch where it is. You can see through buildings with the scan mode and recon unit combos, which makes the recon units a lot more useful than just taking up some energy. We actually got an S on this mission, which updated, us, which upgraded us to the second point on the star for F, which will get us to E. And we got both of them, which was a speed destruction and minor damage. You know, it's a it's pretty simple mission, pretty straightforward. Just go in, knock everything out, and then get out. Next mission, 1-4, which will finish off our mission 1 missions, or you know, our chapter 1 missions, I guess you want to call them chapters. We have to kill AC Gambit. I don't believe he's too hard, he's the first AC, yeah, he's actually a very close range guy, he's not too powerful, and at the same time he sacrifices a lot of this defense he could have had by trying to be quick in order to get close to you. So we're going to try and keep our distance, we're not going to use our energy blade, that'll risk us getting too, way too close. He's using, what he's using is the physical blade arms, as he switches to them in the cutscene, I'm skipping that. Activating combat mode. Basically, those things just, they act as the physical blades in this game, just as arm units, so they keep a little bit less weight. And there he is, AC Gamut, right there already. And as you can see, his kinetic energy is really high, but his CE is low. So if we keep a little bit at a distance of him, just hammer him with the two machine guns, he's going to just chip away at his armor. Whoop, and then you're going to dodge those, because those things will make you zoom forward. System, scan mode. There he is. Tried to hide behind the building. Whoop. And there he is, right down. Not even too hard. Now there's the uh, challenge is to take him down within 30 seconds. I believe that was more than 30 seconds, so it wasn't too quick. But at the same time, we didn't take a single hit, so we're not going to have to pay for any repairs. Oh, it was 30 seconds. Alright, we got. When, when you beat an AC, you get their emblem. Sometimes you get some parts depending on what the enemy is. Some later on you'll get parts for the multiple ECs you get to fight at once. Again, time limit 30 seconds and the minor damage of 5,000 or less. And there we go. That's all of mission one. Next, we're gonna take on the we're gonna take on mission two and the chapter chapter one, and then we're gonna take on the mission two submissions and get the mission three. You know, the faster we can get through these, the better for everyone, you know, faster completions of the missions equals a almost guaranteed S, as long as you don't take too much damage or expend too much ammunition. If the, if the game tries to make you play very fast, very, you know, on your feet. So, with that being said, peace out, guys. See you next time. Have a great day.